Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. One of the most popular videos that I uploaded this year, surprisingly, was my houseplant tour. So earlier in the year, I had about 11 houseplants and I made a video kind of like showing each of them as well as giving them names. So I wanted to give a houseplant update. I will preface this video by saying that the past two weeks, I've been a very, very, very neglectful plant mom. Just had so much else going on. Was doing postdoc applications and then trying to do like wrap up the year for work. So my plants are a little bit neglected. So some of them are, are being buried today. Some of them are being uh, reborn today. <laughs> and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how they look. I have tried to keep them in their honest state so that I don't sugarcoat anything, but. Some of them are in pretty bad shape. But yes, if this is your first time here, hey, what's up, hello. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And yeah, we probably should just get started because there's a lot to cover. <laughs> I actually watered all of my plants yesterday, so I'm not gonna be doing any watering today, but I am gonna be doing some pruning for the plants that need to be pruned. So the first plant I'm gonna give you an update on is, I think we named her Hera. Um, is Hera, which means love in Zoluo. And this is a plant that Jonathan gave me on Valentine's Day. It is an Imperium. Okay, there are a couple of bugs in the bottom container, but it's not doing badly. It's not doing badly. Some of these leaves are a little dry, so I am going to prune off the ones that, also like the flower has dried off. I'm gonna prune off the flower. We're just doing some maintenance. We are just doing some low key maintenance. Anything that is dry and dusty, I am pulling off. Um, it does have some new growth though. Let's see if I can show you. All right, if you look inside here, there are some new, new like leaves coming up. So that's good. That is progress. She used to live in the corner, but I have moved her to right by this front door so she could get more light. Her leaves are a bit dusty, so I'm actually gonna run run her in the sink. This one is a bit dry, so I'm gonna snip this one off. Try not to snip any other ones off. And there's another dry leaf here. Oh, these ones are also dry. So I'm just gonna snip, where are you? This one. And this one. Okay, so she's looking healthier. Give her a little haircut. I get also probably, it seems like there's a lot more growth on this side than this side. So things are clearly leaning towards the sun. Plants grow towards the light. So once I give her a nice little bath. Oh, should I take this one off? I can't get rid of this whole leaf. It's actually quite nice, but I'm just gonna trim the edge of it. Great. When I put her back down on the table that she's on, I'm going to face her this way so that the flowers can now be, the leaves can now be like leaning that way, this way. I hope that made sense. I don't know if it did, but I hope it did. I'm just gonna cut off some of those brown tips. I guess I didn't have to get rid of, no, those leaves had to go. So this is Hera. She's doing pretty well. She's still growing. She actually is one of the ones I did not water her yesterday. So I will throw her, give her a nice little sink bath right now. <laughs> Sink back, not working. It's probably better for me to do this. Okay, let me do this outside because this kitchen sink ain't it. Okay. 
So next up we have our girl Majesty. I think the last time you saw her, one of these leaves opened up. I Maybe it was this one. Yeah, this is the second to most outside ones. This one opened up. A new one is coming. So she is growing. She is definitely growing. However, she also has some scale. So scale are little tiny bugs. <laughs> that are pretty common with house plants. So there are some here on the stem. There are also some, whoa, where, where is it? Oh, here we go. Are we gonna focus? Yeah, there are also some on this stem situation. And then she does have some brown tips. This is kind of due to both a lack of humidity. Our house isn't, that, isn't really that humid. As well as just, you know, once they're old, they just kind of like get dry, but I do keep her nice and water. I feel like this is the one plant that gets an ample amount of water. She could probably use a little more. So I will top her up today because yeah, the soil is a bit dry. So I'll top her up now, but I am going to get some rubbing alcohol and just work my way through. Yuck, gross, ew. I'm gonna work my way through rubbing this down. It's been a while since I really inspected her. But the leaves are pretty, the leaves are pretty. And this one is gonna open up maybe in the next three weeks. I think that this usually takes like a couple weeks to open up. Um, and then it'll be a nice, beautiful new leaf. So I think I like to get rid of the outer one. So I might just get rid of this one. Oh, it's not doing that bad. Maybe I will, maybe I'll just cut this part off. Like I did here, like this leaf obviously didn't end here. I just cut off where the leaves had started to brown. So I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna do some, some CPR on this little girl. So I've given Majesty a little turn and I've also trimmed these bad boys off. Um, I sort of tried to do it, I don't know, in a way that would still make it look palmish. This one is a little bit better. Oopsies, this one's a little bit better. So those ones at the top are shorter and they get longer. I don't know what the brown stuff was that was coating the outside, but I've scraped most of it off. This is definitely due for a nice shower. So I think on its next water, I'm gonna take it into our bathtub and give it a nice hose down. But yes, Majesty is still good. She looks weird turned this way, but I definitely wanted to make sure that the leaves are getting balanced. So you definitely wanna make sure that you turn your plants every once in a while. So that is Majesty update. Okay, now we start to get into some of the <laughs> more embarrassing plants. So in my plant update, I are not in my house plant tour, I didn't have this plant, which makes it even sadder because it's like relatively new-ish. I think I got it over the summer. And it's just, let me just show you. <laughs> so this ficus benjamina, actually when we first got it, lived outside, lived in that corner. Oh, maybe the back corner, this corner. But I think outside was just too cold, so it just kept on dropping leaves and getting yellow. So we moved it inside maybe three weeks ago, and it actually was doing really well, except then I forgot to water everything for like two weeks. So we have a bunch of leaves turning yellow, and then, ah, uh, yes, okay. <laughs> so bad. So I actually shook the tree yesterday because I was like, so annoyed. Let's see if any other ones fall off. Yep, we have a couple more falling. But I just shook it yesterday. Just get all these like really weak leaves off. I'm contemplating, I might because like this, this all used to have leaves on it. it. Used to be really nice and bushy. So what I might do is, yeah, they're just so weak. You can see them just falling off in my hand. They're so bad. But what I actually might do is some of these up here that are a bit stronger. Let me change my angle. Here we go. Much better. So 
some of these leaves that are doing a bit better. Like I might just take this like branch and, and try and pot that separately. And like this one is not too bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the plant as a whole, the plant as a whole, I it, it is reached its, I, I killed it essentially is what I'm trying to say. I killed it. It's such a temperamental plant. I didn't realize this when we got it. I just wanted a big plant on the balcony, um, but it's so temperamental. You really can't change much. And I missed, I, I just messed up my watering schedule. So all right, hopefully I have time to do this today because I do want to kind of make this look a little bit better. And then once I do that, I'll probably move it to this corner so that this corner can just be like a plant corner. My son tries to like crawl back here and squeeze through here. And it's annoying to have to try, tell him like, no, you can't go there. But he knows not to touch this stuff for sure next to the TV. So that's her. She never even got a name because that's how unsure I was about her existence. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So now we are in her bathtub. So as I said yesterday, I actually had watered all our plants yesterday. So I'm gonna give you an update. Um, what can I carry? I think I can carry this with one hand. Can I? Nope, I can't. Maybe I can carry the Monstera with one hand. Oh boy. Man, oh man. So our Monstera, our variegated Monstera is doing really well. Let me move her back to the living room where she belongs. Okay, so so this is our variegated Monstera. She is beautiful. She's doing really well. Her leaves are gorgeous. The only thing is that she really hasn't had new growth. Like there was a time where she was putting out all these aerial roots, which I went and cut back. I do think she needs to be staked. Maybe I can just, sorry, I'm like doing this while recording, but maybe if I push this up against, that's better. She's thriving. I'm a, she really is doing the thing. She's thriving. She's just not growing new leaves. I think that she's only grown one new leaf. I'm trying to find it to see. I think it's this one. This is the only new leaf so far since I got her. No, this one also might be new. Yeah, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad at her <laughs> at all. And she she's doing really well in this corner. So she's definitely going to stay here. This is what the living room, you know, minus my now horticultural table. This is what like the living room plant setup looks like. And she's just a uh, beaut. Here's another one of the plants that are doing really well. This plant I thought was an elephant ear, but it is a philodendron silver sword. When we first got her, she only had, I think three leaves. And now she has two, four, six. Uh, I don't know if this one counts. I should probably just got that rid of that one. So let me start over two, four, six, eight, 10 leaves. She's doing really, really well. These are some of the older leaves they have broken. <laughs> My son loves, loves crawling to this corner and disturbing this plant. So that's why it's kind of starting to break in some pieces. And then this one was a lot longer and just completely broke off. So I think I might trim off that one since it's just not really doing much, but it, it grows really well. Like this is where all the growth is happening and a new leaf is coming up right here. This might also, I don't know if that'll become a new leaf or like a new branch, but this is doing really well. She actually might be ready to be repotted. I'm not sure if these are arrow roots or like real roots, but I don't wanna mess with her because <laughs> that she's doing so well. So I don't really wanna like repot and like mess anything up. So I'm just gonna leave her for now until she stops growing and then we'll, I'll reevaluate. But I, I think she is ready for a trim. So I'm going to, I'm gonna trim this one cause this one is just really sad. So I'm just gonna trim this one off and then she'll be good to go. Um, her leaves were really dusty, but I gave her a nice shower yesterday. How pretty, so pretty. Ooh, also look at my Christmas nails. <laughs> Ooh, all right, there we go, this one. Travel it down. Just gonna go right there. Bye. You know, maybe I'll try to propagate this bad boy. Who knows? I haven't done a propagation, so I don't know. We'll see, might as well try. So um, while we're in the kitchen, let me actually show you this little bad boy. So if you didn't know, you can take an avocado and find the top of the pit, put it in some water, 
wait like three months, it will grow roots and it will start sprouting. So this is my little avocado plant that I have been nurturing for some time. It's definitely ready to be planted. So I'm also going to work on that maybe later today, probably tomorrow. It's one of those things I've been putting off for weeks. In the meantime, I definitely need to change this water because it's mad nasty. And I had put these plants in there um, as well, which made it nastier. So I gotta change the water for this. But I think that I'm leaning towards, like I like the idea of just smaller plants. And so I might do this with a couple more avocados and then I can have like a little, a little avocado like bush plant. It's never gonna like become a whole tree and bear fruit, but at least it'll be pretty. And it was completely free to do because I already had the avocados. Oh man, it smells so bad. But look at all of these roots, like from literally just an avocado pit, the regular pit of an avocado can bear, uh oh, where's my focus? Can turn into something with all of these really, really pretty roots. So excited to plant this at some point. So quick update on the succulents. These have been kept in this bathroom. Um, this is the bathroom off of our office. It, they were, I was forgetting to water them in the office windows, so I moved them here. These are, um, what did we decide to name these? Nemo and Dory, I think. Whichever one this one is, is doing really, really well. Tons of new growth, just like really, 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 really good. Now, homegirl over here is not doing that great. I had done some really over eager pruning. So a lot of these leaves at the bottom were pretty dry and I removed a lot of them. And I think that I disturbed like its support system. So she probably needs to be repotted so that like there's more structure up here to hold her together. But definitely remember to water them more than before. And I mean, there is some growth, just not, you know, not as great as that. Maybe I can also turn her sideways so that hopefully she'll start leaning towards the light, which is that way. But yeah, those are Dory and I'm gonna call this one Dory since yeah, I'm gonna call that one Nemo because it looks a little better. But why did I just do that? <laughs> yeah, these are the succulents. They're they're okay. They're this one's great. This one's just okay. But yeah, I think it's really my fault because I pulled off too many leaves. So I've been really trying to alternate like <laughs> the struggling ones with the good ones. So you don't think that I'm a terrible, terrible person. I'm gonna show you two really struggling plants and then show you one really, really flourishing plant. Speaking of office plants, do you remember Kevin Hart? He used to be in the office over there. <laughs> yeah, I have struggled so much with this Schlothera, this umbrella plant. I thought that it wasn't getting enough light in the office, so I moved it to actually moved it right in front of this window, but then it was like still dropping leaves. So now I was like, okay, maybe like, let me move it to this side. And I don't know, it just refuses to keep leaves. So this, I just removed it from the bathtub. I also soaked it yesterday. I don't know if it's the, the soil, the soil I feel like is really clay-like. And so I don't know if this is like not the right kind of soil for this. I don't know what it is. I've tried everything. There are no bugs. I've inspected it for bugs. Are there bugs? Are these bugs on the, maybe these are bugs. I don't know. But yeah, I am probably gonna give up on this one or maybe I'll do the same thing that I'm planning on doing with the ficus benjamina, which is like, you know, cut say here and then plant this and then this one so that it's a, just start afresh and see if those will grow some roots. But right now, this is one of my saddest, saddest dying plants. <laughs> and this is a fiddle that I got um, in my partnership with Shop Nondula recently. And um, it did lose a lot of lower leaves. So I was a little bit worried about it because I thought that I was doing something wrong. However, oh no, new bug. Can you guys see that? Can you see this white little thing? Can you see it? My cap to focus is not really working. Um, I have to spray this down because I just saw a bug. But we don't do that. Ooh. I'm trying not to touch it, but I also want to show you it's gross. Yeah. So it lost like a couple of lower leaves down here, but the, the leaves up here are, are doing well. So it's a really big pot. It's a very large pot. So I think one of the things I was struggling with is that I was under watering it because I just wasn't pouring enough water in here because it's just a really, really big pot. And it's a terracotta pot. So this dries out, you know, faster than a regular like plastic pot. 
So I've gotten the watering together, so I think that these should be fine. I'll keep you posted. It does now have, I just saw a mealybug, so I need to spray this down with some neem insecticide, but it, the rest of the leaves are feeling pretty good and pretty luscious. So let me just tell you this story real quickly because I moved it outside. That was the wrong choice. It actually was doing just fine outside for a really long time. Like I swear until yesterday night, I woke up this morning and so many of its leaves were gone because of the way, I didn't realize how windy it was outside recently. So <laughs> I just have to show you. It looks so bad. And I promise like all of its leaves were there yesterday. Just yesterday, I just watered it. It looked perfectly fine. And now, <laughs> see? Oh my gosh. Oh no, the sun is that way. Yeah. See how like the wind is just blowing? The, like I just, whoop. It was just not strong enough. Um, these leaves were not strong enough. So literally all of them, I swear y'all, yesterday these leaves were on this plant and now they have all blown away. So this is going to the plant graveyard. Oh no, my son just woke up. I think a door slamming woke him up. So the last plant I'm gonna show you is our rubber plant. This is doing beautifully. Yeah, she's doing well, so. That's really it, that's really all. Okay, just kidding, I forgot about this plant, <laughs> which usually lives up on top of my cabinet. These, we had to put these products up here because my son kept on opening those boxes. These are things that we're selling, I'm selling, for my closet sale, so we had to put all the products up there. But yes, this plant used to live up there. But now it is here, this fern, we call her Fernalicious Death. I probably need to take her down from there because she's not getting the love she deserves up there. And I don't know if these, yellowing leaves means that she's not getting enough water or light but yeah let me put her by my bedside for a little bit and see if she perks up that's fernie she really she's susceptible to weeds so i feel like i just pulled out a weed i may have pulled it out already but sometimes like she'll have a really tall weed like up to here but she's a cute little thing she's a cute little thing she hasn't died on me yet so <laughs> I appreciate her. Yeah, I feel like I really underestimate how much water because these just these clay pots just soak up so much water. Like they get so dry so fast. So definitely I need to water her more often for sure, maybe twice a week. So I'm gonna put her out here, see if I can get her on a nice little schedule before putting her in a different place. Okay, so this is another plant that was on our balcony that is actually still on our balcony. This is a lime plant. It's not doing too badly. It did lose a couple of leaves, but a good number of them are still doing okay. I'm not sure if this is the best place out here for it. I don't, I think that, that those are bugs. I don't know. Yeah, we had gotten these plants. We wanted like tall plants for the balcony for some privacy, but they're kind of neglected out here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Then the very last, oh no, not the last one. Okay, so the second to last one, I'll end on a positive note. This is that snake plant that I brought out here during the houseplant tour. I knew that I wasn't going to uh, do anything with it anymore, but I just haven't thrown it away. Look at all of that scale, oh my gosh. So, so gross. <laughs> I'm being so honest with you, like this is, I feel like I'm losing so much street cred in terms of my ability to be a plant mom. This is the real, real. I just don't know how to throw it away. Like how do you dispose of, a plant, because I want the pot. I don't want to throw the pot away. It's a good pot. I just gotta get rid of the plant. I wonder if there's still some, like, can I dig this one up? This one's not terrible. I don't know if I can, I'm gonna Google if we can propagate a snake plant. Like maybe if I just like took this tip and put it in water, I don't know, would it grow? Okay, the last one is my son's sleeping, so I couldn't go into his room, but this little succulent thing, oh man, the glare. The glare, but I don't know if you can, oh, there we go. Isn't that so cute? I don't know I'm whispering when he can't hear me. I'm definitely outside, but <laughs> it's a succulent from Shop Nanjala. And the elephant is just so cute, so perfect for his room. So it lives in the windowsill. It gets, I don't know, a decent amount of light and I water it like every other week. Well, maybe like every three weeks. So that is our final plant. All right guys, so hope that you enjoyed my plant tour update as you see some of them are doing well, some of them are doing really, really, really badly. Some of them needs to be buried. Some of them need like SOS. But yeah, that is the reality of being a plant mom. I just like recently got really into candles. <laughs> I feel like when I get into something, I get really, really into something. So like, months ago, I was really, really, really into plants and then I kind of like forgot about them. Like 
you know, stopped caring. And I got really into candles. So I've been neglecting my plants, but the ones that are doing well, I'm really happy that they're doing well. I do want to get a few more smaller plants. I think that one of my issues is that I have too many big plants and big plants are just, um, harder to keep alive. <laughs> they just like need more attention, right? So I want a couple more plants like this size. I feel like this is like a good sensible size for a house plant. And then that way we can put plants on tables and then not have like my son. He tries to get in this all the time and we just repeated no and like trying to distract him. So a couple more like smaller plants and then it, would be, it actually might be nice to like make this corner into a plant corner now that I think about it. So you might see some additions over here. But yeah, that's my plant update. But I'm gonna try and see if I can fix the the weeping fig or like make it into something else. And then I also need to pot the avocado. So my work isn't done, but the video is done for right now. Thanks so much guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.